Any new moves? Uh, totally. <laughs> yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. Oh, I'm a stop. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. It's probably a bit confusing to some of you, but I have a good reason for it. It's been about seven months since I last played this particular game on the channel, and I have always wanted to come back to it because there is one piece of the puzzle, one episode of this game I never played for the channel. And that is this. It's the farewell episode, which is only included in the deluxe editions of the game. So I'm doing this now because I played this game last summer, and I played the game on PC because at the time it was just easier for me to actually record all of my games on PC um, because I didn't have my Elgato at that point. So, I never played this because I bought the standard edition and not the digital deluxe edition on Steam, and I couldn't play this game because of that. But, since this game came out, like in 2017, I have had the digital deluxe edition anyway. I have the game physically, which is the reason I'm playing it uh, now, because the physical edition also comes with the uh, Feral episode, because apparently that's classed as the deluxe edition as well. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I haven't played this episode since it came out, and I remember nothing about it. I know it's the uh, it's set the day before Max is about to go away to Seattle, and uh, that's it. That's, re that's all I remember. Um, so technically, if you want to play the Life of Strange games in full chronological order, you would actually play this episode first. You'd then play episode one of Before the Storm. Before the Storm. Goddamn. Two, three, and then you'd play the main game of Life of Strange one, and then you'd play Life of Strange two. So it's real. It's turning into Star Wars in this, isn't it? But yeah, we're gonna play it. I think it's about an hour, hour and a half. I'm gonna split this up into two videos, so they're probably gonna be a little bit short. We're just gonna see what happens. But uh, I'm really excited because I genuinely don't remember anything about this episode or how it ends. Um, I'm really excited. It's also Ashley Burge voicing Chloe and Hannah Tell voicing Max again in these two episodes. Because if you don't remember, uh, the voice actors changed for Before the Storm. Uh, Rihanna DeVries, I think her name was, she played Chloe uh, in this game. And they changed a bunch of the voice actors. David voice actor is different. Um, Joyce's voice actor is different. Just everyone was different, but I'm gonna shut up now and we're gonna we're gonna get into it. It's a little bit bittersweet because this is gonna be the last time Max and Chloe are ever gonna really be in a Life is Strange game. The last time they're gonna be on the channel. Unless they ever do make a third Life is Strange and they include them in it. I doubt it, but I'm gonna shut up now. We've been talking too long. Look, they even changed the little icon at the bottom. There's a pirate flag. Um, this is set in 2008. It's set... Uh, I think it said three, it said three years before Life is Strange, before the Storm, episode one, or just all of the episodes, and six years before the first game, so, they're both 13, no, Max is 12, and I think Chloe's 13, if I'm getting that correct, and, uh, bit of a creepy way to start the episode, but, oh, uh, I'm excited, we're gonna see how this goes, because I don't remember, I'm so excited. Oh, it's gonna be so sad. Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. <laughs> Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. <laughs> oh, <heck>. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh no! Yeah, she was still she was still like this even even before the the whole Chloe Price phase that we know and love. Oh, okay. Eh, it's no hole. We're fine. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever. Seen. Oh, her bed her bed's there now. Oh, you're insane. You're insane. That explosion was massive. You say that like it's a bad thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. 
If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Oh. Oh, that's so weird. Yes, her bed's moved. Look at all the pink. She really liked science when she was younger as well. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. Yeah. Deck nine. I hope they're working. I think they're working on something else with Square Enix. I. They haven't made a game since this, so. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? <laughs> I like, I like Max's shirt. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. Aww. I do wanna, I just wanna mess with this. It seems really quite, yeah, it is. I, the master volume for some reason is, uh, we'll leave it there, that'll be all right. Okay, uh, I want to look around. Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. It's like my own private gallery. See, the thing with me is, I didn't mind that they changed the voices for the last game, for the, before the storm. I kind of thought, like, I mean, okay, maybe for some of the other characters, but I thought for Chloe it was fine. Because, you know, people's voices do change. I, I didn't mind it at all. I thought it was fine. Um, I don't know. I thought she did a really good job. Uh, I think Re Re Rihanna DeVries, who voiced her last time. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. September 2008. Jesus. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. <laughs> How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. Oh my god. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Okay. Chloe seems upset about something. But I don't want to pry. Maybe I'll get it out of her later. That is so weird for her to hear that she actually liked- Because she did like school. It's just so weird. It's so sad as well. Aww. Yeah, September 2008. Trash. And my dog's barking. Give me a second. Ugh. Literally every single time I want to record, someone always comes to the door. It's annoying. Anyway, let us continue. Um, but yeah, it's weird. Uh, I was eight years old in 2008. Keep that in mind. That's just sad. Oh, that's... Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> <laughs> You're off to a great start. <laughs> Max's first selfie. Actually, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Hmm. Okay, then. Uh, when I trash this. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? <laughs> You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. <laughs> She's so different. Science, magic, uh, pink. It's just so... Oh. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. 
I doubt she plays with it anymore. We're not gonna get rid of Mrs. Sharky, though. I can Are never we? tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things or despite it. Okay. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Oh my god, everything is so different! It's so weird! Oh, we're gonna get her. Uh, we're gonna see what she says. You better not be thinking what I think. <laughs> I Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <sighs> Sorry, chum. God, they're so cute. It's like. That's better. It's so annoying. It's like, listen to Chloe's voice. It's so weird. It's just like, ugh. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. 96, 90. I wasn't even born. Oh. What is that? We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. What is it? It looks like a colorful onion. <laughs> what about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Oh my god. Fine. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> Alright, I think okay. she... Whenever I'm ready... I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. I want to look around at everything else. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. <laughs> I mean, come on. Max is a poser. She doesn't even know the difference between a no slide or a tray flip. <laughs> these boy band trading cards super cringeworthy yeah and hilarious remember when we gave them all makeovers sharpie boob job <laughs> you mean when you drew boobs on all of them i was so mad at you and yet our friendship lived on so too will these cards She just doesn't want to get rid of anything, does she? It's just going to be this entire thing all over. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever. And I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Okay. Can we get rid of this? Or has this got sentimental value as well? See, thing is, I'd be the same as Chloe right now. I wouldn't want to get rid of anything. In my room, so. <laughs> what are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. You beat me. We never play. Chloe, we haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. <laughs> nice try, Max. But you can't erase your shame that easily. Oopsies, okay. Is, there's just nothing we're gonna get rid of, is there? This was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? <laughs> the sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Uh, totally. <laughs> yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. Oh, my stop! <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> stop, please. Oh, All my God. Right. Back to the junk mines. She is not ready for the mush pit right now, I'm telling you that. <laughs> Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. 
Well, besides Bongo, of course. Is Bongo even alive in this episode? I don't know. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Right, there's nothing in here we can get rid of now. She didn't want to get rid of anything, so. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. All right, there's, it's official. There is nothing in here she wants to get rid of. There's abso absolutely nothing. Ugh. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE, though. Good lord, look at all this stuff. Chloe Elizabeth Price. Huh. I didn't even know that. Uh, lie down. A moment of calm. Uh. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. <laughs> Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. Sad. Oh. Oh, look, she's got the picture of Ma of her, Max, and, and William on her dresser. That was in the episode one of this. All right, we're gonna have to go, unless. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. That's I'm saving something. Okay, I'm doing it for once. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That it, never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Okay, so a, a hoodie with holes, that's fine to throw away. But a board game that's missing half of its pieces, thats we've got to keep that. Ugh. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Oh, I can tell her now. No, I don't want to ruin it. The possibilities <sighs> are endless. Got anything in mind? Actually, you bet your ass I do. I found this when I was digging around oh. before you got here. Okay. You were gonna flip. Do you have any idea what this is? <laughs> Our 2003 mixtape. <laughs> You're the one with the killer memory, not me. Very true. One of my finest traits, along with humility. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out. <laughs> A vast future wayfarer. Oh. We have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long <laughs> Silver. You were such so, You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, mine eyes. Oh, no, it's William. Dad, <laughs> get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind, then. I apologize. I mean it! All right, all right. <laughs> Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. 
<laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, mm. you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Again, only those <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh... Bye. <laughs> Dude. That was... That was... That was... That was amazing. <laughs> amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Property of Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. Keep out, Mom. <laughs> the Bane of Arcadia. Oh my god. Aww. Pogo. <laughs> the pirate. The gang. Squad. Squad goals. Pirate rules. No bathing. No boys on the ship. No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. I mean, I'd be, I'd be off for not bathing. That, that's just, I couldn't do that. Another day of plunder and destru uh, what destruction on yeah the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil Commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad, we must make sure that the map is only readable to us. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more plunder and riches, Captain Bluebeard, Long Max Silver. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Most likely. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? All right. Time to find this map. I don't know where the map is. Is it in there? Oh, photo. Don't okay. Move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Okay. Very Subject <laughs> and photographer. You really do it all, Max. Very artsy, Chloe. Chloe, Max. <laughs> Goddamn. I try. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know. Uh. I didn't see the map before, did I? Uh, is it actually around here somewhere? I don't know. I, it's not telling me to search through anything. Read. What's this? Max and Chloe's sewer adventure. <laughs> you are Max and Chloe, the best friends and students in school. Okay. All right. You sit in class until, suddenly, a cute squirrel arrives at the window. It is so cute. Do you want to pet it? Pet the squirrel. Pet oh, it's a choose your own adventure book. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to read all this. We're going to be here forever, but that's really cool. Look at all this. Oh, my God. This is so inventive, Max and Chloe. But next time, please do the book report you were assigned. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yes. Take that, Rat King. I'm sorry. I don't have time to read all of that right now, but there you go. I don't know where it is. Chloe? Any luck? <sighs> nope. You? Nothing yet. Mm hmm. Dude, I don't get it. Like, there's nothing around here. Uh, it's not there. 
It's not there. It ain't there. Uh, I'm trying to actually see if... I don't know. Is there anywhere I haven't looked yet? Well, there. No. Oh, my boy. I don't know where I go. Uh, Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Where would that be? That was there, right? Okay. I don't know. People say a lot no. of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Thing is, she don't she doesn't have the rewind power yet, so I'm not able to skip the shit I've already seen and heard, so that's uh Yeah. Oh I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Okay. Alright, let's look. Is that it? Found the map! I'm the map. I'm the map. Bingo. <gasps> uh. Aww. Amulet. It's in the dark cavern. Oh, this game's gonna kill me. Well, it's already killed me multiple times, but... Uh. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, a.k.a. the attic. Ugh. Why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. You think it's still there? Should be. As long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. <laughs> okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! <laughs> Chloe seems so into this. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. I'm gonna be so sad. Okay. Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. Why would a broom closet be locked? I don't know why. <laughs> uh. There it is. The dark cavern. Was that? Th Wait, was this? I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. Was was that? I need to find something to stand on. Was this I'm broom? sure I can find something Shut up! here to boost me up. <laughs> Wait, was this even here before? Oh, uh, maybe it was that door. This door's been here since- This was in the main game as well. Y I don't know what it is. You cannot go in there. You cannot go in there. That door never opened, but... Uh. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time? I just don't get it. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. Oh. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Okay. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Can we go in Joyce's room? Oh, we can actually. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. Oh. I wonder if we actually get to do they spill there's like a spill on the floor in the in the main house in the living room. Um of soda. I think we, that might what? happen here now. I wonder sure. if I'll ever take this view in again. Don't worry, Max. You will in five years. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. Uh, what's this? This won't be big enough for me to reach, but 
Maybe I can stack things on top of it. All right, give me a second. I just want to look around first. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. <laughs> Narnia. I don't think I could ever handle a real-life murder investigation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. A bit heavy-handed, but okay. It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. She wants to be a teacher? Most strikes? <gasps> <gasps> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? See, he, William, got the bowling trophy, not Hal from Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. Oh my god, there's a freaking computer here. Nicotine gum. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Oh, is it Wells? Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. As well as even the principal. The principal at Blackwell wants yeah. to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. She's having trouble transitioning into the new, more challenged environment. Aww. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Aww. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Aaron Price? Wait. No, yeah, okay. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. What's that? Can I look at it? It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. That is actually really friggin' sweet. Okay, alright, we've been looking around long enough. Let's move this thing. I am I think I'm loving this. Stack a few things to get up high enough. I'm loving the soundtrack. Alright, use this. just need one more thing. I need one more thing, okay. Uh... I'm not going back in there. Maybe it isn't here, actually. Oh, wait. Is that too? Seems like Chloe's dad huh. always has a project around the house. Is there anything in here I can use, please? I don't think there is. No, there isn't. Um... I don't know, books. Can I... Yes, there you go. That's not safe. That's not safe at all. <laughs> I think that should be tall enough. Don't fall, Max. Uh. Uh. Oh. It's gonna be so sad. I just, I just, I know it is. They always do. It's, um, oh, god, um, okay, no, 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 <laughs> they're already killing me with cuteness, like, I can't awesome. do much more, <laughs> please, <laughs> man, there is a ton of stuff up here, how will I ever? There it is. It's just, it's on a string. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. <laughs> okay then. All right, that's that done. Uh, yeah. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. Oh my god. 
I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. <laughs> uh. I think I can squeeze through now. Can I? There we go. Okay. We're so close. All these old furniture's in the way. <laughs> That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. I never went into the attic when I was a kid. I just ne it was just thing I never did. I uh, don't know if any of you did. It's a good thing I'm <laughs> big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. I don't know. It was never something I was able to do. Our act was really small, though. It, well, it wasn't. It was, just, it was full of so much stuff. Oh, ow! <laughs> oh. Crap. Alright, let's try and not... Are we doing that again, or... Can I go around? Ah, oh, they have a record player! Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. Okay. Don't think there's anything else in here I can. I'm just gonna try and do it again. Oh no, do it again. Come on, Guess try. You have to go back. Okay. All right, there we go. Glad oh this my. Thing is empty. Why do they have a? Why do they have that? Yeah, I don't. They just have a machine. Okay. Can you? Are you gonna keep pulling it or? And there you go. There's a lot of effort yes. to go to find this this thing, this amulet. I don't even know what it is. It's it's gonna be I don't know. I thought it'd be like some macaroni necklace type thing, but <laughs> Finally. There we are. Finally. Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. <laughs> Got it. Nothing can stop the mighty Bluebeard. <laughs> Chloe Price. My best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And spiders. Yeah, well, I'll be careful about that up here then. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I have you now, Skellywag. Man, I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> I wonder if you actually do tell her at the beginning of the episode, like if you actually can. I don't know about that. Oh, oh she's Are you me. just watching me up there, Creeper? <laughs> Uh. You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend. That's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. Okay. Aw. Oh. It's gonna be so sad. I said it again! It's going to be though, it's setting up for just this really sad conversation. There's gonna be tears. And it's just, uh... 
All right, anyway, I'm going to leave it here um, for this part of Life is Strange Before the Storm, the farewell bonus episode. I don't know why I had to make it sound like that, but I did. But that is where we're going to leave it. And uh, the next part is going to be the last part of the episode. And it's going to be the last part of Max and Chloe. Seriously, that is actually really, that's really sad to say. At least in video game form, but I don't know what the future holds, but uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I don't know. I, oh, it's really setting up for just a really sad, like, f like finale, isn't it, to this episode? I really, I like the vibe of it so far. It's really nice. It's really just, yeah, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here for this first part of the farewell bonus episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and with all of that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.